adults are in, and the mayor of St. Paul will be Melvin Carter. He is a Democrat. He ran away with it, uh, despite being one of 10 candidates on the ballot. He had just over 50% of the vote. Pat Harris, a distant second with nearly 25%. Voters in St. Paul were asked to rank up to six choices for mayor. So many voters turned out in Ward 3, which traditionally is the highest voter turnout. Several locations ran out of ballots that included Holy Spirit Church, which is known for having the largest number of voters in St. Paul. St. Paul election officials do have to count uh, the second and third choice uh, choices by hand, which is why the process was expected to take days. Quick outcome was even a shock to the winner. I told my children that you know don't expect you know anything and anything tonight. We we're not going to know tonight. What I think happened is that the voters just said loud and clear that they're ready for change. Being able to look at that office, look at that space, and see someone who reflects the diversity of this whole city uh, is something that is critical to uh, just building the city for the future, building a city that works for everybody. We also caught up with current and outgoing mayor, Chris Coleman, who is running for governor. He had this to say about Carter being elected. To have the first African-American elected as mayor of the city of St. Paul is a pretty, it's a remarkable milestone. Uh, to me, this is a continuation of, of, of the things that we've worked on over the years. Uh, how do you continue to build a vibrant city that's inclusive, that everyone has, a, uh, you know, that, that feels like the city is working for them.